Researchers say contaminated water from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant could still be leaking into the port. They're calling for a thorough investigation. A team from Tokyo University of Marine Science and Technology has been studying the seawater in a port directly in front of the plant. Tests show levels of radioactive cesium exceed the government safety standard in some places. Researchers have calculated the total amount of radioactive substances in the port over a one-year period. They say about 16 trillion becquerels of cesium-137 may have leaked into the ocean since June 2011. That's 73 times the discharge limit imposed before the nuclear accident. Experts say that amount of contamination doesn't pose a threat to marine life in open waters, but radioactive substances could accumulate in fish in the port. Radioactive water began leaking into the ocean after the 2011 nuclear accident. Officials at Tokyo Electric Power took steps. They say the leak stopped three months later. Research team professor Jota Kanda says contaminated water may be leaking as groundwater. He says another possibility is damaged pipes in the compound. We need to look into every single possibility to verify the cause, if in fact contaminated water is leaking. TEPCO officials say they don't think radioactive substances are leaking. They say they will continue to investigate. We do not expect harmful levels of radiation to reach the West Coast, Hawaii, Alaska, or U.S. territories in the Pacific. That is the judgment of our Nuclear Regulatory Commission and many other experts. Furthermore, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and public health experts do not recommend that people in the United States take precautionary measures beyond staying informed. And going forward, we will continue to keep the American people fully updated because I believe that you must know what I know as president. Well, first off, for those of you that are here seeking information, thank you, and please excuse the foul language that's about to come out of my mouth. For the rest of you fucking sheep who insist that your president is so great Okay, I'm going to review some fucking headlines for you. And I'm going to reiterate what I've been saying for over two years since Fukushima blew up. This is slow genocide. In telling you that everything is fine and to do nothing and that he'll keep you informed is equal to genocide. A generation is going to fucking die in the United States because of Fukushima. And there are things that you can do if you're aware to limit your exposure to detoxify your kids before they're in fucking leukemia wards. Okay? Let's look at the headlines today. A little over two years. Do I, do I need to play the audio again for you sheep? We do not expect harmful levels Make you of feel a little fucking better before West I horrify you? Hawaii, Alaska. Hopefully I wake you out of your slumber. Let's start with the animals, because you probably don't give a fuck about them anyway. We'll just take it a little easy. Sickened Alaska animals getting more tests for Fukushima radionuclides, oozing sores, bleeding swollen internal organs, and hair loss. And I know, we're talking, you said genocide, Kevin. How does it relate to the people? Well, the next three headlines should explain. U.S. government model of Fukushima cesium-137 particles covering the northern hemisphere. He said nothing was coming to the west coast. Is that true? Because what he meant to say was that it's going to encompass the entire fucking globe, which is exactly what it did. And it didn't take this amount of time to do it either, folks. 72 hours after Fukushima blew up, it passed over the West Coast. Within the first week, the entire planet was encompassed with a fucking layer of radioactive, uh, yeah, yeah, laugh and get whatever the fuck. Excuse me, I'm so pissed off, I can't even... Think of the isotope. But anyway, it was. And if you give me time to calm down uh, and you need to know, I'll get it to you. Leave a comment. I'm going to move on to the next one. Hidden Noah. Hidden. Hidden now. You've been fucking lied to. Hidden. Genocide. God damn it. Hidden Noah animation shows all ocean along U.S. West Coast contaminated with Fukushima cesium by the end of March 2011. Genocide. Experts, what? What? What did he Four say? US territories in the Pacific. That is the judgment of our Nuclear Regulatory Commission and many other experts. many other experts. Furthermore, 
The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and public health experts do not recommend. Oh, so it's their fault the you States fucking lied. Precautionary measures beyond. Bullshit. Bullshit. Japan experts. This is current, folks. If, in, in, in case you still think it was done and over with and everything is fine. Japan experts, up to 93 billion becquerels a day may still be leaking into the Pacific from the Fukushima plant. It's genocide. It's slow genocide. You cannot tell me that all the experts said everything is fine. And if they did, they lied. And he's responsible for it. He should know better. Bullshit. When a simple, humble fucking carpenter on the West Coast can see a reactor, th excuse me, three, four, whatever the fuck it was, five, there's one they didn't tell you about, Fukushima Diani, you don't even hear about that. That one was leaking too. Explosions. Remember the first day? Because I do. My kids were on that fucking west coast. Now it doesn't matter which coast you're on. Your kids are being radiated. It's genocide. No ifs, ands, or buts. There's no wordplay that's going to take it away or make it any goddamn better. Come over to the home page and arrest this bastard. There's many other crimes. Never mind all the stuff against your constitution. He's just outright fucking killing you. And if he decides to kill you before the radiation does, well, now he has permission to do that as well. Cut the bullshit.